lot of care and teamwork goes into training a racehorse. So here's a snapshot of what it takes to get the thoroughbred to the races. Well, there's a lot that goes into training racehorses. Can you talk us through um, what, what happens in your stable of a morning? Yeah, look, it uh, starts bright and early. Uh, Matthew and I are probably the first to get here at 3.30 and go around and just check all the feeds, make sure the horses have eaten up. And and then, you know, uh, if you're going to gallop them, they haven't eaten, you just sort of alt alternate the work a little bit. So that's the first thing. And then uh, we set all the first groups up and put a load on the walker and uh, the staff arrive about 5 o'clock. Who are some of the other professionals that come in and check in on your horses? We get a vet to come in every day. Um, we've got bloods and, and salt washers and... You know, sometimes the horse is sore or uh, need a bit of treatment and things like that. So the vet's very important um, uh, and he's, he comes in every day and we've got a fair bit to do every day. So um, he comes in about 7, 7.30 and um, we just go through a few of the horses. This morning we uh, did two pre-race bloods. Um, that's the purpose of that is to do a, a, um, a laboratory screen on the blood. I also looked at a horse to, this morning that was sore over the hind limbs. Uh, he was due to race today and what we've done is uh, written out a scratch certificate because again he's not suitable for racing today. We get the farrier comes in every day, um, if we've got any issues or lost shoes or whatever, he uh, replaces those or checks the horses if we need, if we're worried about a horse being sore. The old, old saying is no, no foot, no horse. Um, but look, the reality of it is um, we're a part of a, of a, of a big, big group um, that, that go towards keeping horses sound. Um, you know, like with these days, as opposed to the old days, uh, there's a lot of communication between trainers and vets, um, and, and you know, between between everybody, it's all about getting the job done. And the role of a chiropractor? Do you get, get a chiro in from time to time? Yeah, we've got to, uh, we got we use uh, Kate Sager. I've uh, used her for about 15 years. Um, she arrives every Thursday. She's here, um, and she goes through basically all our runners for the whole week. Mm -hmm. And also any horses we've got a niggly, niggly little issues with. But uh, very important, you know, we we, uh, we we find Kate that you know even the riders know when she's when he, she's done the horse. The next day they really can tell the difference. So we had a great success with her, and um, you know I, I, I can't uh, put in enough emphasis on the physio. So the equine athletes not too dissimilar to a human athlete, are they? Oh no, you got to you know you got your your diets. You know you got to be on the right diets and, and the exercises. Uh, the exercise regimes are same because it's such a long morning. They'll they'll, they'll get hungry out, um, over three or four hours. So we give them a little bit of feed first, but um, you know it's so important. They get a little bit of roughage, which is the chaff and loosen, um, but also they get a high protein with the mitovite and the oats and the maize and. Also, put a lot of powders in there just to, you know, make sure their vitamins and everything is all, um, all up to scratch. Get back on track, Victoria. The Spring Racing Carnival. It's time for some real entertainment. Visit springracingcarnival.com.au. You know you want to.